rub my finger over what I just smudged. Nothing. Okay, now let's go over these. Look at that, nothing, 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 nothing. It lasts so long. Hi guys, welcome back to the Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for today because it's 2022, first of all. Congratulations, we made it. Happy New Year. I'm excited for today as well because we have a new brand we're talking about. We're talking about the brand Cali Ray Beauty, which launched towards the end of 2021. And the second they launched, I grabbed all of their stuff and I'm so excited to talk to you about them um, and do some try on, which is why I look like a naked mole rat. I understand, I'm looking a little crazy. I look kind of like, girl, have you slept? And the answer is no, I have not slept, but also I'm not wearing mascara or eyeliner because today we're trying on new mascara and eyeliner. So I wanna just kind of jump in and get into this video because we've got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna be doing try-ons. We're gonna be doing comparisons to other products that I love um, and letting you know kind of how the products hold up to other products I've mentioned that are similar um, in vain. So let's get into it. If you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. As always, leave a comment down below on what you want to see on this channel in 2022. And without further ado, let's get into this Cali Ray Beauty review. All right, you guys, Cali Ray Beauty, let's get into it. So we have two products that they came out with. They came out with a mascara and they came out with an eyeliner. Two products I'm always really excited to see launched because um, I feel like specific to eyeliner, I feel like I'm picky in what I want in eyeliner. And when I test eyeliner, I test it like a million different ways with primer, without primer, with primer set, without primer set, with just powder, without, you know, I tested a million different ways. I test one eye um, and then I test it against my favorite eyeliner, which we'll also be talking about in this video comparably in terms of lasting power and in terms of how something wears throughout the day, whether you have fall down and mascara is the same. The testing process for this is generally like pretty extensive. What I wanna do in this video, I wanna do the try on first and then I wanna kind of talk through through the review. So I'm gonna pull you in a little bit closer and then we're gonna try everything on and then we're gonna do like full on in-depth review and do swatches and all of that stuff. All right, you guys, we are in close. So let's do some eyeliner. Um, we have the Cali Ray eyeliner. The shade that I got in this is brown. I love a brown eyeliner. Um, I just feel like sometimes it's less harsh, especially if I'm going like full send with the rest of the makeup. Sometimes it's nice to do a little bit more of a subtle eyeliner, especially if I wanna do like a winged eyeliner that is a little bit less intense. Brown is really nice and I've been really loving brown. So, um, and my favorite eyeliner that I have right now um, that I'm like was comparing it to was brown. So I thought it would be good. So this is the brown and I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys here. So this is the brown. It's not the darkest brown. Um, it's a little bit more of a light brown, but I do actually really enjoy that. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I thought, you know, maybe I'll try it out and see. Um, but it's actually, it's a really nice brown shade, if you can see, it's really nice. So we're gonna apply that to the lash line. Um, and this is more of a gel formula, which I really like for eyeliner in general. I don't always love a super smudgy um, eyeliner for every day. Sometimes I do, but sometimes it's just like you want it to really like stay put and like trust that it's gonna be there. So, you know. Okay, so that is the eyeliner on. I feel like the brown is nice. It's not too light, but it's subtle enough if you like something that isn't super intense, but they have like a black, they have a really pretty like tealy color as well if you're into like fun, but I really do like the color. And then this is the mascara. This is the Come Hell or High Water Mascara, which first of all, like such a cute name. Love the packaging. I love when mascaras come in like more unique color packaging because everything's black. Um, so when it has like kind of a different pop or something, it's really good. So this is the wand, just kind of like your traditional style looking wand. Very, if you've seen the Ami Cole, uh mascara wand, I've done a whole review. So if you want to see what that looks like, I have a, I do an, uh, like a, I'll show you what it looks like in that video. Um, it, this is a similar wand. It's a little bit more tapered. It's not very intense in terms of size. What I like to do with this, like I do with most of my mascaras, is I like to clean off the wand. 
Now this is a more waterproof formula but I still like to clean off the one in general, just it works best on my lashes um, and I found that I have a lot less issues with mascara, all mascaras, um, if I clean off the wand. So we're gonna do one coat and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's one eye done with one coat. Okay, and then we're gonna do a second coat. I'm actually not gonna re-dip this. I have found, I have a little bit of, um, I have a little bit of product, I have product left in this, so I'm not gonna dip it back in, but you do whatever is like your preference. For me, I found um, with mascaras lately, I haven't be, been re-dipping them after I clean them off, and I have actually found I've had better success in terms of the wear, but also like just in terms of like fall down um, or any issues I might have. Okay, and then that is the second coat. Okay, I'm gonna do the second eye and then we're gonna go on to the review. All right, you guys, so that is it done. We're gonna do one more up close of the mascara. I definitely got some on my lip. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna scratch it off with a spoolie. So this is the mascara. Let's talk about this one first. So this is kind of a more, a little bit more of a waxy consistency, but not in a bad way. Um, and it's meant to be a little bit more water resistant. So it, it's not, it doesn't say that it's 100% waterproof, but it's meant to be more water resistant. Now, do I find that it is water resistant or do I find that because it is a waterproof formula or water resistant formula that I don't have any running or fall down? Yes which I'm surprised by because I am the type of person that does get runniness and I do get fall down. Um, and I tested it without cleaning the brush off and I tested it with cleaning the brush off. And I did find even when I didn't clean the brush off, I didn't have a lot of fall down or anything like that. I do, I get really runny here in the corner, which I think, I feel like a lot of people do. And here I had a little bit of something, but it didn't run like crazy. I didn't have raccoon eyes at all. And I feel like just looking at it, it gives you volume, it definitely gives length, and it holds a curl really, really well. Now, I don't normally curl my eyelashes, but when I'm testing mascaras, I do curl them and see how the curl holds with the mascara, and I find that it holds just as well as anything else. Um, it, I don't have like any, oh my God, my hair is crazy today. I don't have any more significant droop or anything like that. My eyes look really beautiful and open, and my eyes look really beautiful and open. No, but they just look really, really pretty. I feel like the lashes look really beautiful. They look intense, but they don't look too crazy. And one coat, if you like something a little bit less intense, you can definitely get like va va voom even with one coat, at least in my opinion. I also feel like this is so easy to remove for a water resistant formula. I expect it to be harder to remove. This is not very hard to remove and I really, really appreciate that. Um, I know sometimes even like non waterproof formulas can be really hard for some people to remove. So if you have that, you might find this a little bit more challenging, but this to me isn't one of those where like, you know, if you pick at your eyelashes, because I, I do feel like a lot of people do that. I don't get that like intense, like when you pick at your eyelashes a little bit, um, that like I'm pulling out every single one of my eyelashes and it gets like really intense. I don't have that with this. I actually really like this. Um, and wearing it on my bottom lashes is risky because I have not set my under eyes and I'm not worried about any fall down, any rutting, any smudging. I'm actually weirdly impressed by this just because Anything that has claims that's like water resistant and it's not gonna run or it is gonna give you like whole like like give you lashes that look like this, I'm always like, yeah, okay, you have all of these claims. All of these are like basically what everyone wants in mascara. Um and I very rarely find that like it there has doesn't have to be a tip and a trick kind of to make a mascara work, at least for me and like how I wear my makeup. But with this, I don't even need to clean off the mascara wand. 
and it works for me. I just, it's just my preference because sometimes if you don't with this, I have found that it can get a little bit clumpy just because there's a lot of product on the wand. I mean, if you get this and you pull the wand out, you'll see there's a lot of product on the wand, which isn't a bad thing because it gives me the volume I need. I just need to clean it off a little bit, but I really, really like this. Now, comparably to mascaras, I really like. I have two that I want to talk about. First is the PYT. This is like a long wear mascara that I also find I do not have any fall down. I actually don't need to clean this wand off at all because this is, this wand itself, if you can tell, doesn't have a lot of product on it. Um, and the wand isn't super, super big. So I feel like the, which is similar to this, unlike other volumizing mascaras that have this like hourglass shape, this is more on the small side. So I feel like the finish I get is very similar to this um, in terms of look. And in terms of the way that it wears and there isn't like fall down or running is very impressive. Like I like this a lot on my bottom lashes as well because I don't have to worry about it falling down. And I'm very impressed with this mascara and this equally so just because it, I have like a very, to me, these are really comparable in a lot of ways because of the wear. I would say that this gives me a little less volume than this one, but really, really good. Now I wanna talk this about this comparably to my favorite mascara. Um, if you watch my roundup of last year, like this is, or the year before actually, this was in there, will remain in it, like in all my favorites, I'm sure for like the remainder of my life, but this is the Ilia Limitless Mascara. Now this is not a like water resistant or anything like that, but I want to sh like compare the two because I'm sure I'm gonna get a question about how it compares to my other mascaras I love. It holds up and to be honest, against a lot of some of my favorites, it performs better because I don't have to worry about it smudging, running or anything like that. I can still get this beautiful like volumized lash. It isn't super, super separated, which I like. It gives you that like fun, sexy look, but it's one of those that like in the summer, I wouldn't worry about wearing if I was at the beach or if I was doing anything. Like I kind of get what I need out of this mascara. And it's the same with the Ilia Limitless. I kind of have that similar vibe, but this one has a little bit more running for me um, just because it's not waterproof or anything like that. But with the Ilia one, I just have a little bit here and it sometimes falls a little down here, but it isn't a lot and it doesn't bother me. Um, it just, it's par for the course with mascara sometimes and it depends on the day. If it's super, super, like super windy and my eyes get super runny, I will run with this one more than this one. But I say this holds up. This is definitely like gonna be one of my, I, I'm gonna make a bold statement, you guys. This is gonna be one of my favorite mascaras of 2022. I would be shocked if this wasn't in my end of year favorites. I'm gonna say that now, but who knows? That's just, that's me jumping the gun, but I'm wildly impressed by this enough to be like, wow, this is definitely up there. Very, very good. I like this a lot. Now let's move on to eyeliner. So my favorite eyeliner, if you guys do not know, is the Persona Cosmetics Eyeliner. This does not move. So I want to swatch this against the other one. So this is a darker brown, if you can tell. So this is the Persona here, and then this is the Cali Ray Beauty one. Really, really, really pretty browns, but definitely very different. This is very much darker. This is like a true, true dark brown. Um, and this is like the, the eyeliner mascara. This is the eyeliner I've been grabbing nonstop this year. Like the second that I tried it, I knew that there was literally no eyeliner out there, conventional or not, that has ever been better to me than this. Um, so I really, really was interested to try these side by side. So I swat, like I put this on the back of my hand. This sets up pretty quickly. And I'm gonna do like a, like a wipe test with you guys soon once the um, Persona Cosmetics has a second to sit down. But this also has a very similar jelly-like formula. So I was really excited about this one because because of how much I love this one, I was like, whoa, maybe we have another amazing option um, to use because it's jelly. I love a jelly formula eyeliner. So I wanna talk about these next comparably and then we're gonna do like a swipey test and then do like a full comparison deep dive. So these are Victoria Beckham eyeliners. Now these are not waterproof. These are not the same formula, but I do really, really like them. So I'm gonna swatch these. So this is the Victoria Beckham in Coco. This is, I would say the Victoria Beckham Coco is an in-between of these two a little bit, a little bit more towards the Persona Cosmetics one, but it isn't quite as dark. No, I would say it's a perfect, 
It is the child of these two in terms of color. And then the Victoria Beckham in black. So I'm gonna swatch this one. And I would say the difference here between the Victoria Beckham and the um, Cali Ray Beauty one is not only the formula, obviously, because it's not the, um, the Victoria Beckham ones are more of a Kajal, satin Kajal finish. They're not really like a waterproofy one, but these ones are more smudgy. So I'm gonna just smudge these out for you so you can see what they smudge like. I really, really like these eyeliners, especially if I'm doing a smoky eye look, but they definitely set up. So you can see, I let this one sit a little bit longer and now it's harder to smudge out than the black. Um, but I wanted to do a comparison next to the Cali Ray one in terms of smudge. So you can see, because I know a lot of people, this is the Cali Ray one, love to smudge their eyeliner. So I'm gonna take the, hold on, let me clean this off. Um, I'm gonna take the Victoria Beckham back thingy and smudge it with that and you can just kind of see how this smudges it's it definitely is able to smudge where i feel like the persona cosmetics one it will say like sets up really quick like you can't breathe you need to smudge it immediately the persona cosmetics one which i love because i don't like when eyeliner runs like at all this one sets up pretty quick so now if i rub my finger over what i just smudged nothing okay now let's go over these Look at that, nothing, 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 nothing. It lasts so long. So it is wild, it is really, really wild. So these two I would say are pretty comparable. Like this one I would say is slightly longer lasting power just because even when I apply it and then I try to smudge it out, if I do not smudge it out, I, I literally mean immediately you guys, it will ball up and kind of fall apart a little bit and not really smudge. Whereas the Cali Ray one sets up a little bit slower so you can smudge it out a little bit and you do not have to worry about any like crumbling if that makes sense so that's kind of the difference between the two of these but i literally this is this is in there with this now this is i'm buying the black one like i am very impressed by this it doesn't move okay it just doesn't i don't know i don't know what's in these like the persona cosmetics one i don't know what's in this and i do not understand what's in this either because they do not move they last all day when i am in studio lights i'm filming or i'm like literally in front of my computer all day sweating and like i haven't moved and i'm like editing or i'm writing or i'm doing something and i get up and I go look in the mirror, like go to the bathroom, look in the mirror, and it's been like, let's say a couple hours. Sometimes I don't pee you guys for like five hours, but like I go and I look in the mirror. Sometimes I'm like looking downtrodden, okay? I'm looking a mess. With this eyeliner, with either of these, I'm not looking like a mess. There's no fall down. I'm really impressed by Cali Ray Beauty, and I would love to know. I hope it's called Cali Ray, not Kali Ray or something like that. Sometimes I wonder why I don't look up the pronunciation of a brand before I, like I, I go into something confident with a name and then I'm like, wait a minute, that feels wrong. Um, but I would love to know, have you tried Cali Ray Beauty? If you have, what are your thoughts? Are you as impressed as I am? I can't wait to see what else Cali Ray Beauty comes out with. I really hope they come out with, I'm dropping things left and right. I really hope they come out with like a bronzer or a blush or something like that. Um, Cause I love it, I love it and I'm jazzed about it. It's a great way to start the year with a good review of a new brand that makes me so excited. Really, really cool, very impressed by them and their kind of mission. And if you go on their website, you can like see what their like their goals are for a certain year, you know, to become carbon neutral, plastic neutral, like all of these cool things. So it's really cool to see a brand really focusing on the environment. And yeah, that is it for my Cali Ray Beauty review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed like kind of coming in close trying it on with me and then doing like kind of this close in camera review. Let me know what else you wanna see from this channel in 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.